You can see we've now come past City Hall, uh, so uh, clearly not stopping. He's got his hand there. out the window. He's got his hand out the window, I'm being told. Okay. Y'all see that? Can yes. you see it? Yeah, we can see it on our screens. Apparently he's got his hands out the window, at least one hand. Hands out the window. And you wonder, does that say, I wonder if he's saying, you know, give me some space, I'm going to well, pull over. No, sure to, no, if he's got his hand out the window, he's trying to indicate that, uh, you know, he may be trying to indicate he's trying to end this thing. Now, here's what the police have to be concerned about. Is he, is he really trying to give it up at this point, or is it going to be maybe some attempted suicide by cop or something mm -hmm. like that? Right. I know we don't want to speak those things, but we have to in this situation. All right. So if he's got his hand out the window, they're going to start giving him commands. Oh, okay. okay here. Here, here we go. It looks like we're making a, a left here, going the wrong way. This is, the, again, the wrong way for, for, for on, the, on a one-way street. If you're familiar with downtown Dallas, you're looking at uh, a little a bit, our, our vantage point blocked a little bit by the buildings right now, but the suspect traveling the wrong way down a one-way street in downtown what street Dallas. Is he on? Uh, Sean, I'm going to need a little help with that. Uh, I believe it's right behind the library. Uh, okay, behind the library, he's yeah. going the wrong way on a one-way street. Yeah. Yeah, right okay. now our vantage point completely blocked. For those of you who are just joining us, we are watching a car chase in progress in Dallas, Texas, in the heart of Dallas, Texas right now. As we are told, a man on whom police attempted to execute a felony arrest warrant this morning gave chase, taking with him at least one hostage, said to be his girlfriend, said to be a person on whom uh, he attempted to fire a gun yesterday or within the last few days. We also heard reports early on that there may be a child or baby in the car. All of that unconfirmed. The gang unit, we are told, is the one that tried to execute the warrant. He's been going around in circles in and around the city. Now he's smack dab in the middle of Dallas, Texas. The girlfriend in the car is said to be on the phone and, quote, in obvious distress, or at least was as of 20, 30 minutes ago. The SWAT team has been following him. That is the first contact we've seen between the police cars and this red explorer. Uh, as you can see, now he's been going down the wrong way on, on one-way roads, up on the medians we saw earlier, and in excess of 60 miles an hour on the highway. Way, which is not unusual but very dangerous given that this man is disregarding traffic signals and other laws. Uh, we are told that the police are pleading with him to pull over. We've been told that he was planning on doing it. It looks like it's coming to an end. Let's listen. The gentleman is out on the ground. You can see his hands in front of him. All of the Dallas police officers. It looks like he has tossed something away from him. Uh, Dallas police officers approaching the suspect, also approaching the right-hand side of the vehicle to get the passenger safely out of there. You can see the cops gathering around the suspect. The woman is safe, we're being told at this point. Dallas police officers have now stopped this suspect who they've been in pursuit of for the last hour. You can see him down, face down, on the ground, now handcuffed at this point and in police custody. Right. Now, he actually decided to pull this thing to an end. Uh, thankfully, he did stop. They were about going to deploy the stop sticks one more time once they had him on a downtown street. Uh, suspect is in custody, and uh, this is a good all clear for Dallas police that you can bet tensions are high uh, for the last hour uh, as police wound uh, from South Dallas to Crandall, uh, up into uh, West Dallas, back to the medical district, over into Mesquite, Sunnyvale, uh, back into Dallas and this thing coming to an end in downtown. Yeah, downtown Dallas. And kudos to the Dallas police uh, who uh, managed to have apprehend this suspect without harm to those inside the car or as far as we could see anybody else down in the Dallas, Texas area. So as you could see, it does not appear that there was a child in that car as the police opened up the back seats or the back doors and uh, appeared to, to not reach in. Uh, there was, however, a woman, as initially reported, uh, in that car with him. She was described earlier on as a hostage.